Hey everyone, my name is Olav, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this exact render using free add-ons that are included in Blender. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And if you want to support the channel and get uh, cool benefits like early access, tutorial files, and uh, paid assets, make sure to check out my Patreon in the link in the description. Okay, so let's start off by deleting the uh, default cube and the light. So press X to delete. And then let's go into Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and let's add two architecture add-ons. So enable ArchiMesh and ArchiPack. And then let's uh, generate the objects as well. And um, I'm going to speed up this part. And uh, this generates all of the uh, different objects like uh, windows and so on that we can use in uh, the viewport so uh, press shift a and uh, let's go into the argument add-on and start off with a uh, panel window and then press n so that we can go into the settings under create and i'm going to uh, increase the number of windows disable the uh, window sill and uh, let's set the uh, top to inclined and I'm going to increase the uh, level of incline so uh, to around 176 and then I'm also going to increase the height so I'll set the height to uh, 300 and uh, then you can also change the material for the frame and so on but I'm not going to do that. I think plastic looks okay. And then let's set the uh, width of the first window to 80 and 300. And then around uh, 93. And then 80. And 80. You can also choose different values. So uh, feel free to experiment. And uh, then let's save before we continue. So go to File. And then save as, give it a name and save it wherever you want on the computer. And next we're going to duplicate the window. So uh, let's uh, press B to box select and then press shift D to duplicate, then Y, then 5.5. So something like this. You can also choose different values, but if you want the same result, just uh, use the same values. And then next, we uh, need to uh, duplicate these windows on the other side as well. So we need to use a mirror modifier. So uh, for that, we need to select both windows. So press B to uh, box select the other window as well. And then press Shift S and move the cursor to selected, which will be in between the two windows. And then press Shift A and add an empty uh, cube, which we will use for the mirror modifier. And then press G, then X to move it on the X axis. And then press number 7 for top view, then number 5 for orthographic view. And then press B to uh, box select, but I'm just going to select the individual uh, objects. And then uh, add the mirror modifier and then use the empty as the mirror object. And then we need to select the empty and uh, move it on the x-axis so that the two windows are uh, closer together. So let me just uh, take a close look. And then something like this looks fine. And then we need to do the same for the other window as well. So use the mirror modifier and then select the uh, empty cube as the mirror object. As you can see, we now have four window objects. So uh, next, we're going to press uh, Shift A and then S to uh, scale. And uh, then let's go into the world settings, environment texture open and for background images I recommend using HDRI Haven 
which has a lot of high quality background images that you can download for free and you don't have to sign in. And uh, once you have uh, downloaded one of the uh, HDRIs, you can just open it in uh, Blender. And when we go into rendered view, let's first make sure that we're in uh, cycles and uh, render with a GPU if you have one. If not, just keep using the CPU. And as you can see, if we press uh, numpad 5, we now have the background image, which uh, gives us realistic lighting, which is uh, especially important for the uh, glass. Okay, so uh, next we're going to uh, save. So uh, go to file, save as, plus sign, and then save. And then next, we're going to add the roof and some walls. So let's select the window, press tab for uh, edit mode, then select the vertex on this side, and then press shift S and move the cursor to the selected. Then press tab for object mode. And then we're going to add another free add-on, which is included in Blender, which is the uh, extra objects add-on. So just search extra objects and uh, select the add mesh one then press shift a and add a uh, single vertex and we're going to use this to create the window so press numpad 7 then numpad 5 and then press e then y to extrude on the y-axis and then press g then y to uh, move it and i'm going to move it a bit closer to uh, the other window like this. I'm sure you can also use the snapping tool if you want to, but I'm just going to do it uh, rough like this. And then press A to select uh, both vertices, and then press E, then set to extrude them on the uh, set axis. Okay, and uh, then I'm going to press numpad 1 for the uh, front view. And then press G, then set to grab it on the Z axis, then press A, then G, then X to grab all vertices on the uh, X axis. And then press Alt A to deselect everything. Then press B to box select the uh, top vertices. And then press G, then set to grab them on the Z axis. And then next, we're going to extrude. So press E to extrude. And I'm not going to lock this to uh, any of the uh, axes. And then let's uh, set it around here. Make sure it is in the middle of the uh, two window uh, panels. Okay. And then next, we're going to go back to uh, object mode and add two different modifiers. So press tab for object mode go to the modifiers and then I'm going to uh, first add the solidify modifier to add some thickness to the uh, object so uh, let's add the solidify modifier and uh, I'm going to give it a uh, positive value of around 0.01 And then I'm going to add a simple glass material. And then let's go into rendered view. And as you can see, it looks uh, great, especially when we uh, hide the overlay. And uh, I'm going to go back to solid view and save before we continue. So uh, let's go to file. And then save as, click on the plus sign, and then save. And then uh, let's uh, set the uh, origin point to uh, the middle of the uh, object, so uh, origin to geometry. So let's add the mirror modifier and use the empty uh, cube as the mirror object. And then next, we're going to uh, add some objects in between the uh, cracks. So uh, let's see what it looks like in uh, rendered view. 
and then let's move the uh, cursor to the selected object and then shift a and uh, let's add a cube and we're going to uh, use this uh, on uh, three places on the model so press s to scale it down and then g then x to grab it on the x-axis and then press number one to go to the front view i'm going to set it around here and then press uh, s to scale it down and then we need to scale it on the y-axis so press s and then y to scale it on the y-axis and uh, let's take a close look and uh, make sure it uh, fits correctly so s then y then s then shift y to scale it only on the x and the z axis and i'm going to add the pvc material for uh, this object which is the uh, white sort of a diffuse slash glassy material and then press numpad zero to uh, look through the camera and then let's go to view and then lock camera to view i'm going to set up the camera around here and then we can unlock the camera and uh, next we're going to uh, duplicate the uh, frame object so that uh, we have the illusion of a frame for the rest of the uh, glass object as well so uh, i'm just going to scale it up slightly on the uh, x and y axis first and uh, grab it on the z axis and try to just find the right position before we uh, duplicate and uh, then I'm going to go back to solid view and make sure the object is selected and uh, then let's save before we continue click on the plus sign and then save and then I'm going to go to front view so now at one and uh, duplicate so press shift D to uh, duplicate and I'm going to set it around uh, here so just try to make sure it's in the middle like this and then I'm going to mirror this uh, object so uh, go into the uh, modifiers add the mirror modifier And then let's use the uh, empty cube as the mirror object. And uh, I'm going to look through the camera and scale up the plane. Like this. And I'm going to increase the range of the camera as well. And when we go into render view, you can see that it uh, looks nice okay and uh, then next we're going to add a uh, very basic floor inside the uh, glass house or a greenhouse or whatever you want to call it so I'm going to press shift s and then uh, shift a and add a plane inside the house so press G then X to grab it on the x-axis and then press s then x to scale it on the x-axis and then press s then uh, y to uh, scale it on the uh, y-axis like this and uh, then I'm going to grab it slightly on the z-axis, so press G, set, then uh, 0 0.001. And I'm going to um, add just a uh, basic uh, diffuse darker material. Just uh, so that you can see the uh, difference between the inside and the outside of the house. Okay. We haven't actually added any doors 
to uh, the glasshouse, but uh, that's something you can do on your own using the add-on. So uh, let's press Shift A and add a fence as well. So I'm going to add a uh, metal fence and then press S to scale it down and then press G then Y to uh, grab it on the Y axis. And we're going to uh, duplicate this uh, fence. So uh, press G then X to grab it on the X axis. And you can also edit the fence in the uh, Archipack settings. And then let's go into the modifiers and add an array modifier. And as you can see, the add-on kind of uh, glitches when we use the array modifier, but uh, just ignore that. And uh, let's set the offset to around 0.998 or uh, 7. And then we can increase the uh, count so that we have a uh, long fence in front of the uh, house. And then let's go into the materials, go into the um, fence metal material, and uh, let's add a uh, darker glossy material. Like this. You might also want to edit the uh, other materials as well or uh, just delete them to make the fence completely uh, dark. And uh, then I'm going to edit the color of the plane, which is uh, the ground of the scene. And again, you can add whatever color you want. Okay, and then press G, then Y to uh, grab it on the Y axis, or G and then X to grab it on the X axis. And uh, then let's save before we continue. So click on the plus sign and then save. Now we're going to set up the render settings. I'm going to set the number of samples to 300. And then uh, the um, tile size to 512. If you only have a CPU, you can just leave it at uh, 64. And then 200 for the resolution for 4K. If you just want 1080p, you can just leave it at 100%. And um, the next, I'm going to do a uh, test render. I need to turn on the noising as well. So render and then render image. And I think I'm going to cancel this render because the uh, plane needs to be a bit uh, lighter. So uh, something like this, make it completely white. And you can also edit the uh, color of the uh, glass frames if you want to. So uh, let's drag to open a uh, new window, go into the shader editor, and then you can edit the uh, nodes to make the frames darker or uh, give them another color. So I think something like this looks nice. So just play around with the colors and materials. I speeded up some of the recording because I was just changing the colors and moving the camera. And once that's done, you can just uh, render the image. And uh, this is the result. So uh, thank you guys for watching the tutorial. And uh, thank you to my Patreons, Terry Davis and Mr. Monkey Shoes.